Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to make social media creatives using adcreative.ai. If you'd like to follow along, I will put a link down below in the description. And if you click that, not only can you get a free trial, but you get some nice bonus credits so that you can actually utilize this and create a few social media creatives yourself. Let's begin. So the first things first, normally what you want to do is create a brand. Very easy to do. You just need a little bit of a logo, pretty much talk about what it is. It'll give you your custom colors and then you go from there. From there, we do have where we can create our project. As you can see, these are going to be the various platforms they can utilize. If we just go to sizes, you know, it just shows you what it would be. For this, let's go to the one that's going to be good for uh, Facebook slash Instagram. We have our product description, which I just put marketing island, target audience, I put small business owners, save and continue. All right, so here's gonna be our main headline, our punchline, and our call to action. As I always talk about, you can use text AI, but I feel it's just so much easier to do it yourself. We don't have a lot of characters to work with, and you probably know your brand, your company, your business better than anyone, so let's just put that here. All right, so we have discover the best business software, free up your time and increase your sales. Click to learn more, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna click on save and continue. And of course, from here, we can choose an image to utilize. I'm probably going to go something like software, technology, or marketing related. You can use your own background image if you like, but I like using their image search engine. So let's just do marketing, something that's obviously going to be related to what we're talking about. Hit enter, give it a few seconds, and it's going to load. Okay, something like this is cool. Let's see. Some of these will be free. Some will be paid, as you can see. In case you need more off the top of my head, I know Unsplash has a lot of free images that you can utilize. Give it a sec to load. Don't wanna to take too long here. Let's go with something like this. Click on that. And of course we can make it a little bit better, you know, probably don't want that aspect of it, but, oops, marketing and, how about something like that where we get a little bit of each? Why not? Let's go with that, okay? We can use multiple if you want, but I'm just going to go with one and create a post. Let's give it a name. Do MI for Marketing Island. Save and generate. Now we need to give it a little. It's going to run through the checklist that should be at the bottom right aspect right here. So reading your data, best practices, conversion rate optimization, creatives are being generated. And of course, last but not least, you'll be able to download all of them, any of them. It's going to be up to you. But let's take a look at what we have when it comes to making our social media creatives. Give it one more second and we are good to go. So this is what I talked about with the engagement score. It talks about based on your data, we believe this template can bring you the best results. Make sure that your colors look good on the template, edit if needed. So I've done a lot of tutorials when it comes to this and I do wanna explain this again in case you're not familiar with it. Just because like one says 100 and you scroll down and then it goes to 99, 98, doesn't mean that you can't use it or it doesn't mean that this is always going to be better. I'd say the best part about adcreative.ai is their ability to quickly and easily create so many social media creatives and you don't have to be a graphic designer. This I created on Canva, a logo, and like I said, I put in my information and you saw what I entered there. I actually really like this one. This one looks great right here with the logo on the bottom. This is easy to see. Click here to learn more, you know, or maybe swipe up if this was going to be, say, a story or whatever it's going to be, right? Obviously, change around the call to action based upon where you're going to be putting it. These are usually my least favorite it's the heavy filter it's like too much orange it's hard to tell what's going on in the background but i do like the layout here and scrolling down a little bit more this is usually one of my favorite ones similar to this where it's easy to see this could probably be a little bit better if you need to change anything you can go to the edit button right here just to edit that specific one and scrolling down a little bit more that one's good as well i like that it pops out with the orange and if you'll notice in the beginning when you upload your logo we have some orange here we have a little light blue and maybe a little yellow these are the colors that you're going to see obviously there's the white there's the yellow, there's kind of like the gold similar to the beach color, right? So it goes with the color combination that your logo already has, which is pretty cool if you ask me. So I'll just scroll down a little bit more so you can see some more examples. But that pretty much is going to do it when it comes to this tutorial video. It's a very simple process. I've gone through it in pretty much every single time. It's the same process. So that's a good thing. Whether it's going to be an ad creative, a social creative, or just a text project. Text projects are slightly different, but nothing too challenging. That's the good thing also about this is that it makes going through the process pretty simple as you saw in this video. So 
So that will conclude this video here. I hope you got some value out of this when it comes to how you can make social media creatives very quickly and make a lot of them in a very short amount of time. If you'd like to test out Ad Creative, I will leave my link down below. And if you click that, you can get a free trial and some credits. So you'll be able to actually create and download a few of these. Thank you so much for watching. My name is James and I will see you in my next video.